Why would you do this, New World? Why? Why would you forsake your player base and your brand new game that is about to launch? Why would you do this? It makes no sense. No sense. Welcome back, guys. I wanted to make a video today about New World. New World. And what's been going on uh, recently. So... Recently, some information was leaked from some patch notes, some internal patch notes in the alpha, and it had in it details about how New World is going to have a premium currency shop testing uh, phase, and how there's going to be boosts in this premium shop skins boosts stuff of that nature um and it's made its rounds on the internet naturally people are fucking furious naturally because this game hasn't even launched yet and they're already discussing how they want to milk the player base this is not good i had very high hopes for new world but it, it starts to look a little darker once they make bad decisions like this. It, it has me concerned. Mainly because it's a slippery fucking slope. Once you start doing microtransactions this early into the game. The game hasn't launched yet. When, when you start off with microtransactions, it's a slippery slope in, until you get to full on pay to win. Um, I seen this happen. In BDO, it wasn't BDO started off, you know, pretty good, and the the cash shop wasn't too bad, and then it got to a real slippery slope from there, and then next thing you know, it's it's just super pay to win. I don't know what it's like now. I haven't played the game in years, but the point is, I've seen it happen before. If they if if New World decides to proceed with this, go into the cash shop model, and do additional items besides just cosmetics because cosmetics are fine i'm i'm cool with that because it's a buy to play game with no subscription i understand they got to make money somewhere but the boosts like experience boosts is is where i draw the line i get i get upset because what it will do will decrease the amount of time required to do certain activities if you buy those boosts you're devaluing the worth of whatever you're doing say leveling up to max level if you have boosts to get you there faster you devalue the experience short you shorten the experience and it devalues it so it's it's like trivial if it's a crafting boost it de devalues the crafting system because it reduces the amount of time you have to do it it reduces the amount of money you would have to potentially spend in that crafting profession to level it up so there's there's a lot of cascading of effects repercussions if you will of what this would do to the uh, uh, the economy and the state of the game now if if they proceed with this it I believe new world is not going to succeed in the way that they want it to because new world right now is very popular it has a lot of support for it but with these recent announcements, they weren't really announcements, they were they were leaks. But with this information, it's reducing that. There's a lot of people pissed, a lot of people upset. I understand why. It's justified. Um, I think the game's gonna turn into kinda, if they go, with, go forward with this, it'll turn into like the community of uh, Guild Wars 2. Now, Guild Wars 2 is a, uh, a game that's still relevant. There's a lot of people that still play it. Um, but it would be in the same genre as that. It wouldn't be super popular, but there would be a decent player base. Because that game there has a cash shop, which is... Uh, you know, it, it, it has a lot of things in it. There's, there's a lot of convenience items in there, boosts, stuff like that. And I, I feel like it would be on the same level as Guild Wars 2 when everything is said and done and everything levels out 
it's not going to be as hype as, say, uh, I don't know, a big, big MMO like uh, World of Warcraft, for instance. Or perhaps Ashes of Creation. A lot of people are looking at Ashes of Creation a lot more now because of this cash shop nonsense, microtransactions. Um, I don't blame them. I don't fucking blame them one bit. I do not. Um, but I don't know. Um, I, I am really disappointed in their decision. I feel like the game devs probably don't have a lot of control over this decision necessarily it feels like it's more of a uh, a larger corporation some corporate analyst is like "Ooh, how can we really squeeze some fucking money out of these suckers how can we really squeeze some more money out of these suckers we got all this new hype the game's about to launch everybody's excited how can we milk them just a little bit more because if they if they if they go down this route, it's gonna be a dark path. It's gonna be a dark path. There's gonna be a lot less people playing it. There's a there's a lot there's there's it feels less enjoyable if you can boost your way to max level easier than if you did it on, by yourself without any boosts. It, it devalues it. It doesn't it it doesn't feel as good if you grind your way to max level and you had a great time but then you got this guy that boosted that took a half amount of the the, the half the time and he he's he, he spent half the money like well um damn what are you gonna do what are you gonna do but that that's all i wanted to say about that the cash shop is very disappointed um i'm very disappointed in the cash shop I hope they don't proceed with this decision, but I don't. I don't know if they're gonna walk it back or not. They might. They might not. I don't know. Um, speaking of cash shops, though, in other news, uh, wow, Blizzard, Blizzard decided to reduce their character um, copy fee, which I am very surprised about. Blizzard decided that they were gonna take the the um, the copying fee for Classic WoW servers from thirty five dollars to fifteen. That's surprising. I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that one coming. That that that's a good decision by them. It reduces that price, which which makes them look better. Um, in the long run, it makes them look less greedy, uh, and like fucking assholes. But so that's good. They reduce that price. Um, I'm I'm glad to hear that. But uh, that that's 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 a whole nother deal. You know, you got you got classic WoW fucking in the ass, trying to get all the money they can out of you there. And then you got New World getting ready to pump pump their player base with this cash shop. You're getting milked left and right. It, it's it's it sucks. It sucks. I just want to play the game. I just want to play the game. You know, I, I I didn't. I don't I don't go into a game thinking, oh man, how am I gonna get milked today? How am I gonna get milked today? How do I want to get milked today? for some more money to make my life easier. I just want to enjoy the game without bypasses and shortcuts and, you know, easy routes. I, I, I want to just play the game. I just want to play the game. <sighs> I'm, I'm a little concerned about New World though. Like reading through those patch notes, you know, it gives me a little bit of hope that they, that they adjusted a lot of things to rebalance everything and really make the game decent. But it kind of the the cash shop scares the shit out of me. It scares the shit out of me because what it does is it it makes me think, what if this game isn't gonna turn out to what I want it to be? Have I overhyped it in my head to the point where you know it, it's it's too much? Because like if if this cash shop comes out and they, and they have all these boosts and pay to win shit, I'll be very disappointed. I probably won't even play the game. I probably won't. I like I, I might play it a little bit, just 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 to fucking play it, just to play it, and then, I don't know. I, I might not even get invested in it. I don't know, because it, it all depends on what they say about this boost system, in the microtransaction shop. Like a lot, it, a lot of this game for me is hinging on this cash shop stuff. So, I I hope they 
I hope they make a good decision. I don't know if they will. We'll we'll find out. But um here, here's here's hoping for the best, you know. I'm hoping for the best. I appreciate you guys sticking through this whole video. If you did, I appreciate it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out my additional other uh, websites, Twitch, YouTube. Uh, I do have a really cool Discord if you guys want to hang out in there. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, uh, stuff of that nature. A lot of the links in the description below. Till next time. Peace out.